Hi, this is Misha, and this video is on the Yugoslavian Steyr M95M, or as it's sometimes designated, M9524. This is an interesting gun, not a whole lot of history behind it, but um, this is a, a product of, of post-World War I Europe. Yugoslavia was just formed, and it was given quite a few leftover guns from the war including a large quantity of Steyr 1895 infantry rifles, which are obviously straight pull. Now we have a video on these for more information on the history of this type of gun, but um, these are chambered for 8x50 which is a pretty proprietary cartridge. They used um, on-block clips, so pretty, pretty proprietary for a military, and Yugoslavia didn't have a heck of a lot of use for them. The, uh, the carbines they were given, the, the, the carbines with the shorter, about 21-inch barrels, they, they could find uses for, but the longer rifles with about a 29-inch barrel were just kind of sitting around, and they were in a weird cartridge, and they took kind of proprietary clips. Now, at the same time, in 1924-1925, Yugoslavia adopted the Mauser. Now, they started off with the Model 24, which was made by FN, and then later they would make their own at the Zastava factory called the 2447. This isn't either of those. This is the M48. It's the only Yugoslavian Zastava Mauser I have. But this is a post-war make based on the K98K, but it's very similar in some ways to the original 24 and 2447. This is chambered for 8mm Mauser, as were the first two. So Yugoslavia, the military, got the idea to rebarrel their Steyr 1895s to fire the same 8mm cartridge and to be fed from stripper clips. Now, the Zastava factory was, was busy with other projects, so they contracted with an, a private firm called FOMU, 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 F -O -M -U. <laughs> and the barrels were provided by Zastava. What Zastava sent them were the same 24-inch barrels for 8 by 57 they were using on the M24 Mauser, complete with Mauser-style sights already installed on the barrels. So what FAMU did, they took the rifle stocks and would cut them down. They would put a band spring in here. The bolt had to be pretty radically reworked because it was going from a rimmed to a rimless round, so they reworked the bolt face. The magazine also had to be pretty radically reworked. It went from an on-block clip version to a stripper clip fed version. So they cut stripper clip guides in the top. They put in a fake or false on-block in here to hold, to basically provide feed lips. And they plugged the bottom of the magazine. The original had a hole, of course, to let the on-block fall out when empty. Now, they would produce a version with just the bottom sling swivels for infantry use, and they would produce another version with side and bottom sling swivels for more versatile use, cavalry, artillery, and others. And of course, it can still be used for infantry, it still has the bottom swivels. These would be assembled, reworked, 1938-1939 in that time frame. And they would do about 120,000. So not a huge, but not a small number. As is often put it on the internet, the whole M95M or M9524 designation, no one really knows the change. For all intents and purposes, they are the exact same gun done in Yugoslavia by the private firm FOMU, FAMU, whatever. <laughs> it's an acronym. 
These would be intended for use by second line reserve support troops with the M24 Mauser series designated in Yugoslavia for primary use. However, 1940, the Germans come over, they invade Yugoslavia, and while Yugoslavia is fighting them, they pretty much deploy any guns they have, including the M95-24, M95Ms. So they did see combat briefly, 1940-1941 in that era. Germany would also take them into its own stocks because it was firing their standard cartridge, so why not? And reissue them to troops stationed there to basically quell any possible rebellions. The typical German standard. After the war, a few of these would be in Yugoslavia, but they would be phased out. Pretty soon. You know, an old gun. Now what's interesting about what they did here, if you compare to a Yugoslavian Mauser, functionally, they're really about the same. We're still holding five magazine, uh, five rounds, even though the magazine style is different. We're still a bolt action, even though this is a turn bolt. Mm -hmm. Versus the straight pull here. But our sight picture is very similar because we're using the same barrels intent for all intents and purposes in both. We have a full length wood handguard on both. We have a 24 inch barrel on both. Now since this was an earlier barrel it doesn't have the cuts for the side hood like this one would. The bayonet is different but they both both take a bayonet. Obviously this one doesn't stow a cleaning rod under its barrel. The Star 95 never did. This one has side sling mounts only. The earlier M2447s and M24s could have both too. Lengthwise, they're really the same for all intents and purposes. Weight-wise, the Mauser, at least this M48, is a little heavier, although the M24 was a little more svelte because of a thinner stock. But really, they did a great job of turning a gun that they didn't have much use for into something quite similar to their standard is issue infantry rifle and at a reasonable price cost. I mean, there's mostly just the new barrel and the cost of doing the conversion, which again, they farmed out since the Stava didn't have leftover capacity. So it was a good economization that Yugoslavia did right before World War II. I always liked the straight pull guns anyway. Ross and Lee Navy and of course, the Schmidt Rubin series. And this one's nice because it does fire 8mm Mauser. That said, it does have some hard to find proprietary parts like the extractor and parts of the reworked magazine. Just as a side, this, this button in here, which would have been the catch for the magazine and the original gun, is does nothing. It's just connected. It's just there. Kind of not sure why they didn't pull it out and fill it in. There are a few minor variations on these just based on the original rifle they were converted from. But this is a pretty standard example, like I said, with both uh, sling swivels. But that's about all there is to say. Just kind of an interesting old CNR gun. This one's in reasonably okay shape. These, these tend to be well used because they went through World War I and the 1930s and the 40s and so on. Anyway. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you have your own M95M and have shot it and want to share your experiences, that'd be great. If you like the video, please click. If you haven't already subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you did so. As always, this is Misha, and we'll catch you next time.